this is a folder on my system that has a set of comma separated value files or CSV files and each of these is received one month after another so this one is 2010 January, February, March, and so on, and I have files that go on through November. What I like to do is read in however many of these files that I have at any given time. So when I run my package, I will just iterate through and, and read in whatever's there. So now that we can see the files we have, let's look at how we do this in integration services. I've already developed a package that will import into my fact table one of these files. So the first step was to just get it to work with the first one. If I click into this, I, I can see I have this flight data file and its connection manager is flight data. I'm running integration services in project mode, so this flight data is a project level data source. And if I look at my solution explorer, I can see that flight data is over here under connection managers. If I look at the setup, it's hard coded to one of those ASCII files that I showed you. Well, that's not very good, is it? Because when we want to import February, this is hard coded for January. So, what are we to do? We want to set up a variable to hold the file name. Now, I already did this, but if you click add variable here, you can give that variable a name and I I specified the name of the first file for that variable just to make sure that it had one and I could test it. To change this task to use the file pointed at by the variable name, I have to do a couple of things because remember if I look at my flight data data source, it's a uh, hard coded. So I need to turn that into an expression. So the first thing that I need to do is convert the flight data connection manager to a package connection so that it shares the same level of visibility with my package. So now I see the project word is gone. And now if I look at my expressions and I want to change the connection string if I went ahead and ran this this would run and it would run just the way it did before because the connection string expression is actually the same as the default so I won't bother doing that let's move to the next step which is to set up the iterator the iterator that we want to use is the for each loop. So I'm going to drag that over here. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to put my table import within a for each. So you can kind of see what we're trying to get to. So for each file, do this. But the key is we need to connect each file name to each separate run of this task. So if I just double click on my for each loop iterator and then specify the folder where all those files are located and we looked at those before. Now the only thing I have in that folder are these files but just to be careful I'm going to specify that I only want CSV files just in case I accidentally drop something into that folder and I want the fully qualified name. Then now that it's iterating over those files I want to set the user flight data file variable click OK and then the for each will iterate over every file in that folder, assign it to the variable. The variable is used in the properties here in expressions. So we're using that variable to set the connection string. And if we want to test that, we can then go ahead and run this package. In the output stream, we'll actually see the file being referenced that this package is, first it's that file, that's the first file in the folder, so nothing's changed yet. And it will just continue on like this until it processes all of the files in that folder.